Thousands of dollars in back pay, a $4,000 raise, not for you, but possibly for each of your nine Hamilton County commissioners and their predecessors for the past 40 years. It's all because of a little-known state law that's raising eyebrows among the taxpayers who would have to foot the bill. Hamilton County Commissioner Greg Beck says discussions over a problem with pay began easily enough with his fellow commissioners. Uh, we wanted to disconnect our salary from the mayor's salary, uh, something that had been done uh, by a previous commission, I think back in 91. He says eight of nine commissioners voted for the action, but then they got an alert from Nashville. Seems they were due a pay raise they didn't even know about. This 1975 law says their yearly salary has to be $25,000 a year. Well, they get almost $22,000 a year, meaning not only would they be getting raises to abide by the law, they and every Hamilton County Commissioner since 1975 would have to get 40 years of back pay, costing thousands of dollars. Taxpayer dollars. That's a big truck and change out of my pocket. Beck, who would also get a raise and back pay, insisted it's not about the money, but about the law. He says since the legislature raised the alert, the legislature has to decide if their law has to be taken literally. I understand that uh, we have a physically really conservative legislature up there now, but the law is the law. If the law is on the books, then that's what it should be. The law has its roots from a 1975 Knox County request from state legislators to equalize the pay of its commissioners. Then Knoxville Mayor Victor Ashe says the law was only for them. One taxpayer we spoke to is looking at the bigger picture. And it may be a good lesson for the lawmakers that when you put it down on paper and you make it official, it matters. Commissioner Beck says he has asked County Attorney Reuben Taylor to get an opinion on the law from the Tennessee Attorney General. We'll follow this story and let you know what happens.